The pair of shootings boosting the city's gunfire numbers for the year, which are already at a record high. Al Sweeney is covering this for us tonight and joins us from police headquarters with the latest. Al. Matt, two shootings to report tonight. In one of them, a bullet smashed through a living room wall and then through a TV. Fortunately, no one was injured. This is what a television set looks like when a bullet rips through it. It's what the man who lives in this apartment found when he came home yesterday. The bullet tore through a wall, apparently from a neighboring apartment, smashed through the television and lodged in a window frame. The TV still worked, but not well. He had to get a new one. He didn't want to go on camera, but is understandably shaken up. The people in the neighboring apartment didn't want to go on camera either. They wouldn't confirm that it was a visitor who had the gun. Police say this appears to be an accidental shooting, and they want to talk to the person and find the weapon. We're asking them to approach us, contact us proactively. Uh, we are confident we're going to identify the person who has uh, fired, fired a firearm. Um, we do not believe that there was any intent behind the shooting. Uh, I think it was an accidental shooting, an accidental discharge. However, um, again, we're very fortunate that nobody was hurt as, as the bullet uh, entered uh, an apartment of, of, of a completely innocent person. Police also say there was a shooting this week on the Bruce Trail near Highway 6 in Dundas. They're not giving out many details. Police discovered the shooting during an investigation and are trying to determine if it was linked to other shootings this year. We have recovered some casings which we will send off for ballistic testing to see if they match uh, any, other, any other shootings that, were, uh, that, that had occurred throughout the city uh, this year. In Hamilton's record year for gunfire, these were the 55th and 56th shootings so far. The previous record was 51 for an entire year. These are concerning numbers. These are this is this is way too high. Um, I mean, we've had to establish a specific team to investigate shootings. I mean, that's that's never a good thing. Um, the fact that we have established this team is allowing us to to hold these people accountable. Again, the police say no one was injured in these two latest shootings and no charges have been laid.